Good morning beautiful humans. Let's start with a quote. We are the first generation to feel the impact of climate change and the last generation that can do something about it. This was said by the coolest president of US, Mr. Barack Obama. I am Vishwa, an 18 year old wishing and trying to make this world green and safe as much as I can. We are humans, Homo sapiens, one species out of 1.2 million species identified, are the product of 3.6 million years of evolution and the only species which has the sixth sense. So what is the sixth sense? It is the ability to think logics and reason efficiently than the rest of the species. This makes us unique. From our childhood, we are taught to thank anyone who helps us. As we grow up, we fail to do this. Yes, we fail to thank Mother Nature for her unreplaceable help done to us. We don't just stop there. We hurt her to the core and this is awful. I am not only here to say do this to save nature, do that to avoid pollution. The main reason for my presence is to let know people how far are we from a big danger. Why should we do this? To let know the value and importance of nature. Let us imagine it is 2016. Five years back now, a random guy says to the whole world that a deadly virus is coming on the way to create a pandemic situation which makes people suffer. Most of the people would have thought he is an idiot or they would have just ignored him or they would have teased him. But now the same person who had teased and ignored him will see the same random guy as a god. They would have thought they should have listened to him on that day. This is how people who care for nature do. Climate change is real. It may lead to an unseen, unpredictable challenge in the upcoming future. Taking the present situation, in early months of the pandemic, people did not follow the precautionary measures properly. Then, when the number of cases peaked to 4.14 lakhs new cases a day, 4180, 4180 deaths a day, people had come to a point where they did not expect it to be this high. So the lesson learned here is people become cautious only when they see effects of the activities they do and when the situation goes out of our hand. Why? Why should we harm ourselves? One of the major upcoming danger is climate change and we also see the warnings of it. Always prevention is better than cure. Let's see about the influence of human in nature. Talking about the good first, nowadays people are aware that Nature is affected by humans. They also support other people working to save nature. Now, I like to talk about few inspirations of mine out of a lot. I'm not going to talk about the richest person in the world, not a scientist, not a great scholar. But they are rich by heart, creative by mind and influencing by nature. They are common people like us, a priest, a bus conductor, a cow shepherd, Mr. Bal B. Singh. He had cleaned a 160 km river in Punjab single-handedly. Mr. Yoganathan planted lakhs of trees in the past 30 years all over Tamil Nadu. He is a bus conductor. Mr. Jadab. Called as the forest man of India, he has created a forest of 550 hectares in Assam. Now, it is a home to Indian rhinos 
Bengal Tigers and etc. So it is not about the money, not about the position, not about the time. It is all about the mindset. In past few years, the ozone layer was recovering. On April of 2021, the biggest ozone hole above the Arctic region has finally closed. And this is a very good news. There is always an other side of a coin. It seems the other face of this coin is very aggressive and big. Yes, the bad influence. There are lots of bad forces of influence made by humans over nature. I like to talk about a very few. Number one, rise in temperature. If we fall sick due to fever, someone is always there to help us. But what if the condition of Earth? As per reports, 0.08 degrees Celsius per decade is the rate of increase in temperature of Earth. This picture shows the condition of the glaciers before and after. Number two, number of trees cut down. 28 million hectares a year. As per the reports of worldcount.com, every second, one football field sized tree cover is cut down all over the world. In this case, we will lose the entire rainforest cover in just 80 years, that is by 2100. From 2001 to 2018, forest cover of about the size of India has been removed all over the world. Number three, animals killed every day. As per fanatics.com, more than 190 million animals are killed all over the world each day, including slaughtering, fishing, habitation loss and hunting. If in this rate, humans kill each other, we homo sapiens will go extinct in just 41 days. Number four, plastic dumped into oceans. As per the estimates, 8 million tons of plastic is dumped into oceans each year. Now, let's talk about a concept that is very serious and also explains the proverb, what we sow is what we reap. It is called biomagnification. Any harmful chemical that we dump into oceans is mixed up with water. The basic level of food chain that is phytoplankton, the microscopic marine plants are affected by the chemical. Then zooplankton, microscopic marine animals feed on phytoplankton and then small fishes and then big fishes at last it is humans who feed on these fishes. As the pollutant moves from one level of food chain to the other, it keeps on increasing as each organism feeds on lot of organisms. Definitely, a human won't eat one fish alone. So, humans are affected to the maximum. We have dumped waste on the surface of Earth even in the deepest point of the ocean, as well as in outer space, including Earth's atmosphere, even the moon. Here are very few random and common ideas that are to be thought and implemented completely. The first one is imagine planting trees instead of tombstones. But two, fabrics from plastic bottles. Number three, Use of public transports. Number four, unplugging the chargers and devices when not in use. Something got easily is not valued. So let us see about the importance of today's talk. Value of nature. This picture shows the value of a single tree. What if we are to pay for the air we breathe? The population would decline in minutes and extinct in months. I was just joking, but it may happen. As per reports published by 
Dr. Tarek Mohandas, a professor from University of Calcutta, economic value of a single tree is 3 crores, 55 lakhs and 13,000. It is the amount to be paid to one tree for all its services in an average lifespan of 50 years including oxygen production, carbon dioxide absorption, preventing soil erosion and more. Value of Oceans Oceans contribute about 60% of oxygen production in Earth. They regulate the climate of Earth. They support us in transportation, medicine, food, natural resources and recreation. They also serve as the habitat for marine life. But they are underrated and they should be given care. Value of one species Let us consider the revert popper hypothesis. Considering the aeroplane as an ecosystem and the reverts as the species, if a plane loses one or two reverts in random parts, it will not affect the plane. The plane flies smoothly. But after a particular time, a set of reverts belonging to the main part of the plane Consider all rivers in the wing part are gone. Then the plane fails. This is how an ecosystem is also connected by all the species in it. All species are interdependent on each other on earth, including humans. The value of earth. Let's see the value of earth in pictures. See how beautiful earth is. We are the gardeners of this beautiful paradise called earth, the only home. It is our duty to take care of it. We must not destroy it. Plant trees, grow with them, see the new leaves and get motivated. Feel the soil, love your tree. Once you get addicted to the nature, you will never give up on her. Care nature as your child. Support nature as your friend. Worship nature as your parents. On all my views, I thought I could give a conclusion in my speech with a beautiful idea. Plant two trees to tea. Imagine yourself in future, probably in your 70s. Would you love to sit under a tree and have a cup of tea with your life partner? Definitely yes. Enjoying the cool breeze in the evening, that too, sitting under the trees that you both have grown is really awesome. But why two trees? Yes, I have a reason for it. As per the report of the US Forest Service, a man consumes 386 pounds of oxygen a year. An average size tree gives half of it. So, two trees can give enough oxygen for a person for his whole life. Plant a tree sapling, nurture it and see the plant grow into a big huge tree. beautiful tree please don't just plant a sapling and leave it unwatered try to grow with the tree this is how when you know the value of a tree every question has an answer every problem has a solution but 
for lots of problem we have one solution planting trees and then why can't we do it if each and every one thinks and plants and grows two trees then that is a great achievement we are nature we are part of it by hurting nature we hurt ourselves why should we do it and this picture says all finally i just want each and every person in this world to think act for saving nature it is all in our hands thank you so much for lending your ears to my speech and i thank the organization for conducting a very successful event and this is vishwa signing off from you thank you